All right, we're going to talk about the little things that matter. So when you're greeting a customer, pay attention, be attentive, smile and greet the customer. Always be observant and take notes. Everything should flow naturally and if there's an objection, don't throw the rule book at your customer. That is one of the most annoying things that consumers face where they're told, oh no sir, you didn't do this, therefore you're not going to get that. And you know, a customer's having a harried day, they're bringing their car in for service, or they're coming in for a test drive, you don't want to throw the rule book at them. And the other thing that's really critical is think speed. Everything should be quick, you should respect their time. They have made time in their day to come to your store to get their car service or to buy a car, right? And you have to be genuinely interested. When you are patronizing, they can tell. And, and this is particularly true when you deal with women customers. Remember, about 35-40% of our workforce now is our women and over 50% of the college educated <laughs> workforce right now is going to be women. So there tends to be this tendency, especially for us males, to talk down to women. You have to really listen, no matter how much they seem like they don't know enough about cars. And when you're talking to them, do not be texting. It's kind of rude to pull out your cell phone and answer some other text while you're talking to them. You know, that seems like they're not important and your other guest is important. And if there's any issues, like if anything's wrong, it doesn't mean you have to give in, but you have to resolve it quickly and proactively. So if you see that the car is dirty and you have to deliver the car to the customer, the first thing you should do is Go to your manager and say, hey, I'm going to give her a $25 discount so she can go get a car wash somewhere else. And sometimes you can even offer unsolicited help. I don't know how many times I've seen when I observe the driveway that a person will come in with like an SUV of some kind, like a Mercedes GL or X5 BMW. They open the lift gate and there's a ton of stuff they have to transfer to the loaner car. And you'll find that the greeters, the valets, even the service advisors are busy taking notes on the clipboard while this person is struggling with four things. Put that down, go help them. They're not going to ask you, but you should help. And then finally, whatever you do, follow up genuinely and consistently. Not every service is gonna go right. And when it doesn't go right, or if some follow up didn't happen because you fell sick or whatever, follow up, Make sure you tell them that you're really concerned about what happened and try and resolve the issue, like I said, proactively.